Hi everybody, this is uh, VGZ with a quick video to show you that I've accomplished something that I've been trying to do and uh, search for for since I got my uh, tablet and that is to uh, mod the browser app without messing with the framework jar or framework APK. Um, I wanted it to stay default desktop view for the user agent and now I have done that and I'm going to show you. Let me bring it up here. As you can see, this is the first time logging in. I'm going to go to uh, What's My User Agent. As you can see there, that is the uh, desktop user agent for, uh, for the browser app. Again, like I said, I did not mess with the framework or anything like that. I've also mounted it to where the user agent is underneath the uh, settings tab, the general settings tab. And I'll just go there. And what I'm going to do is change it to uh, iPhone. And see what we get here. As you can see, it changed it to the iPhone uh, agent. The one that it always changes to after you reboot the Thrive is the uh, desktop, uh, not the desktop, but the uh, Android. It'll show that with the uh, build in there and everything like that. Now what I'm going to do is reboot my Thrive to show you that it actually goes back to default settings of a uh, desktop. Give it about 20 seconds here. Uh, if you're wondering why the orientation of my boot screen is like that, <clears throat> excuse me, I did the uh, mod to the uh, build prop. So, so to uh, boot up landscape instead of portrait. And pretty soon I'll be building a ROM with all my uh, modifications in it. Here we go. As we know, after you reboot it, it automatically goes back to uh, mobile. So I'm going to show you that it hasn't. I'm going to go to uh, what's my user agent. And it should come up. And there you have it. It is desktop. So um, I hope you enjoy this mod. If you uh, need it for your Android or your build, just let me know and I'll try to get it to you. And this has been VGZ with another quick video. Thank you and enjoy.